Well, new official figures show gangs are once again attracting new members and the government's preparing to counter any criminal activity by adding 700 new police staff to the organised crime squad. There were 5,785 identified members and prospects in April, an increase of nearly 1,500 on two years ago, with much of the growth coming from the east coast in Hawke's Bay. As part of an investigation into where gangs are heading in New Zealand, RNZ's Insight programme has what's thought to be the first media recording of a mongrel mob patching ceremony. The event was held in Hastings and involved members being welcomed onto a new, into a new fatherland chapter. Philippa Tolley has more. Dozens of mongrel mob members gathered to witness the patching of a handful of men into the new chapter. Among them was Tamiana, who'd finished his time as a prospect. It's not an easy road, but yeah, I pulled through. Today's the day. Follow my, my, follow my dad, who passed away, my cook dog, hitched up with the Hastings. Yep, follow my old man's steps. The recordings were made by gang expert and Canterbury University sociologist Jared Gilbert, who described the event as an occasion comparable to a 21st or wedding in the non-gang world. He says the whole patching ceremony has been smartened up. It's cleaned up a lot in those days and you can see that just in the dress of people. Um, the ridges or the original clothing that used to sort of rot on a member, and in fact the older and the, the more ripped they looked, the, the cooler they sort of were. Nowadays it's much, far more clean cut. After being greeted by the president, putting on his patch and drinking from a motorcycle boot filled with beer and gin, Tamiana is in. He's brought his dad's ashes to the patching and has only one response when asked how he feels. Proud. Proud. Make me feel proud. Sick. Oh, you be about time, boy. You be, you be happy. If that was his wishes, for me to keep my bulldog on my back. I love the mongo mob. Family comes first, too, but mongo mob is my family. Nationally, the multi-agency gang intelligence centre says gangs are involved throughout the drug trade and have become increasingly profit-driven. But in this chapter, the leaders say they reject both family violence and methamphetamine. Leon is the head of the South Island Fatherland chapter. Yeah, we can't be f***ed with this shit. Yeah, I can't, especially younger members, older members. Yeah, we've got no time for it. We've had enough of a party. Yeah, so let's get on with things and yeah, this shit. It doesn't do anything good for you. But the police minister, Stuart Nash, seems unconvinced there's any real desire in the country's biggest gang to change, even in part. I, mean, I think if I said I want to eliminate all gangs, that's just unrealistic. What we really do want to do is go incredibly hard against the gang leaders who are responsible for these meth rings or, or drug rings. or So there are no suicide. leaders you can work with at any level? Uh, look, I, I have no one's approached me. Um, to say, hey, we do have an issue, we know there's an issue, and I want to work very closely with police and other social services as well. And I am aware of a life member of Black Power who's working very hard in this area, but, you know, we need to see evidence of this. The minister says the extra 700 police staff going into the organised crime squad represents a massive increase in resource that will target illegal gang activities and will include going after their assets and their cash. For Checkpoint, Philippa Tolley. And you can hear more about gangs in New Zealand on Insight this Sunday morning just after the 8 o'clock news or you can podcast or read more from the Insight page on the RNZ website.